Hello, my dear friends. Today I am delighted to bring you the second half of our tour of Daisaiden in Yushima Sado. So let's embark on this journey together. TV reporter and photographer Anna introduces the lesser known parts of Japan that tourists don't often visit. Let us bring the excitement of travel to you, dear. I will now provide a detailed introduction to the six portraits featured in the hanging scroll titled Portraits of Great Confucian Scholars. Xiao Zi refers to Xiao Yong, a prominent Confucian scholar during the Northern Song Dynasty. He made significant contributions in various fields, including mathematics and astronomy. Xiao Yong developed the theory of numerology and attempted to interpret the cosmic order mathematically. His work aimed to understand the mathematical principles underlying the universe. Cheng Shuzi refers to Cheng Yi, another Confucian scholar of the Northern Song Dynasty. He inherited Zhu Xi's teachings and played a significant role in Confucianism. Cheng Yi advocated the concept of Xin Ji Li, which emphasizes the unity of heart mind, Xin, and principle, Li. He devoted himself to the pursuit of harmony between inner cultivation and the principles of the universe. Zhou Zi refers to Zhou Dunyi, a Confucian scholar of the Northern Song Dynasty. He is regarded as the founder of the Zhou Dunyi school of thought. Zhou Dunyi introduced the concept of Taiji and delved into the principles of the cosmos. He dedicated himself to the exploration of the cosmic order and the harmony between heaven and earth. Cheng Bozi refers to Cheng Hao, a Confucian scholar of the Song Dynasty. He inherited Zhu Xi's teachings and emphasized the dualism of principle and vital energy. He discussed the relationship between human reason and sensibility, emphasizing the importance of understanding their interplay. Zhang Zi refers to Zhang Zai, who was also a Confucian scholar of the Song Dynasty. He advocated the concept of conforming to heaven's way and emphasized the relationship between humans and nature. Juzi refers to Zhu Xi, who was a Confucian scholar of the Song dynasty and an important representative of the Songming Neo Confucianism. He constructed a philosophical system known as Juzi Learning or Neo Confucianism, which had a significant influence during that time. In fact, in the center of these six individuals, the most significant figure, Confucius, is honored. Confucius, known as Kongzi in Chinese, was a philosopher and the founder of the Confucian school of thought. He lived during the spring and autumn period from 551 BC to 479 BC. Confucius was born in the state of Lu, located in present-day Shandong province, China. From a young age, he dedicated himself to the pursuit of knowledge and gained high recognition as a teacher and scholar. He spread his teachings through dialogues with numerous disciples. At the core of Confucius's philosophy is the concept of Ren, which represents humaneness and compassion. It emphasizes the cultivation of moral virtues and emphasizes kindness, empathy, and concern for others. Additionally, Confucius emphasized values that contribute to personal and social harmony, such as rituals, filial piety, loyalty, and justice. His teachings and dialogues with his disciples are compiled in a book called The Analects, or The Lunyu. This book records his thoughts and sayings. Confucius's ideas provide profound insights into human life and societal order, and their influence extends not only throughout China, but also across the world. On the opposite side of the two Confucian scholars from the previous mention, there are two more statues of Confucian scholars, making a total of four statues known as the Four Virtuous Scholars. The four Confucian scholars, as disciples of Confucius, devoted themselves to learning his teachings and striving to spread them. They played significant roles in preserving and promoting Confucian philosophy and principles. 
the statue of Zhengzi. Zhengzi was also a disciple of Confucius, and he conveyed important teachings on filial piety and moral conduct. His teachings emphasized the importance of honoring one's parents and engaging in ethical behavior. The statue of Mencius. Mencius was a disciple of Confucius, who inherited and expanded upon his teachings. He advocated the concept known as the innate goodness of human nature, asserting that the inherent nature of human beings is inherently good. There are also imaginary creatures staying here. The statue of Kiryushi, located on the rooftop of Yushima Seido, represents a sacred creature known as the Demon Dragon Child. Kiryushi possesses a unique appearance, combining the form of a dragon with the face of a demon. This statue embodies the characteristics of mythical creatures such as dragons and demons that appear in folklore and legends. In Japanese religious and cultural beliefs, Kiryushi is revered as a guardian entity that wards off disasters and evil energies while bringing good fortune and protection. The installation of the Kiryushi statue on the rooftop of Yushima Seido symbolizes its role as a guardian and a representation of blessings within the temple. For visitors to Yushima Seido, Kiryushi serves as an alluring element, representing a sacred presence that adds to the enchantment of the place. This is Shachihoko, a traditional roof ornament in Japan. Typically taking the form of a fish, the Shachihoko at Yushima Seido distinguishes itself by its unique feature of resembling a demon. The Shachihoko is installed at the apex of the roof ridge and is sometimes referred to as the dragon head. It incorporates the face and horns of a demon while also depicting the imagery of water spouting from the dragon's head. This water symbolizes the flowing rainwater on the roof, believed to protect the building and its occupants from fires and other disasters. The Shachihoko at Yushima Seido showcases its distinctive form and the spectacle of water spouting, enhancing the architectural style and individuality of the structure. Furthermore, demons hold special significance in Japan's traditional culture and beliefs, and the Shachihoko serves as a symbol representing these aspects. Yushima Seido's Shachihoko is not only a part of the building, but also an intriguing component of Japan's architectural culture and religious practices, garnering attention for its cultural and symbolic importance. We also have the Yuza no Ki here. For more details, please watch part 2 of this video series. The Yushima Seido Shakukenki Hai Chizu, also known as the Yushima Seido Shakukenki Configuration Diagram, is a blueprint depicting the arrangement of ceremonial utensils used in the ritual ceremonies at Yushima Seido. This configuration diagram was created to illustrate the specific execution methods of the rituals and the arrangement of offerings. At Yushima Seido, a ritual ceremony called Shakuken takes place, where gratitude and memorial services are offered to ancestors and deities. Shakukenki refers to the ritual utensils such as offering plates, incense burners and flower stands placed on the altar. The Shakukenki configuration diagram shows how these utensils should be arranged to ensure the proper execution of the ceremony. This concludes the introduction to the main hall of Yushima Seido. The next and final installment will be the last episode of the Yushima Seido series. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. I'll be back soon with more content, so stay tuned and take care, lovelies.